Hi friends, while I was in California, I went through my childhood toys at my parents' house, and I thought it would be fun to show you some of them. Maybe you had some of these too, or maybe you have never seen these ancient artifacts and I'll be teaching you something new. Let's start with my Beanie Babies. I don't know why I have so many Beanie Babies when I only really liked the bears. Wait, I know why. It's because my mom liked going to the local release events and collecting them for me. She might deny it, but that's the honest truth, I swear. And as a kid, it was a perfect gift, Beanie Babies. Like, at your birthdays, you'd always get a bunch of random Beanie Babies. Anyways, I really love this club member set. I still have one all in the box with the stuff that it came with. I know my friend Danny has this too, and I'm wondering if you do. Is anyone else a Beanie Baby Club member? I should have maybe done this video as a live because I really want to talk toys. Okay, well, I will read these comments thoroughly. I love Beanie Bears so much. That's why I have so many. Look at this cute carnival confetti style bear. And these fuzzy textured ones. As a kid, this heart bear was my ultimate favorite. You can tell because it's stained and its head is smushed into a different sort of shape than the others. I brought this one with me everywhere I went. I found this Garcia bear in a parking lot and apparently it's rare. Whether it is or not, it has value to me because he's like a found treasure. I love all these big old bears. Speaking of bears, this little bear friend I got at Harrods in England. I love her, she's so cute. I had to bring her back with me to Canada. Next I have this baby doll, which meant a lot to me as a kid because she has blonde hair and brown eyes just like I did growing up. And a lot of the blonde haired dolls had blue eyes, so I was happy to find one that looked like me. I don't remember what kind of doll this is, but I had to call this hotline and name her. Thinking back, it was definitely a machine and I'm not sure how that worked, but I named her Sarah. Next is PJ Sparkles. I got this doll at a thrift shop. I think she came out before I was born or when I was a small baby, but she lights up and used to project stuff out of her crown, but stopped working. I think maybe the film that was in there deteriorated. Now let's look at all of my Barbies. Well, these are actually Cindy dolls. They're a line from the UK that in 1989 remodeled to look quite similar to Barbie. Mattel sued the company that made Cindy and they changed her look again. I really love these Cindy dolls and their outfits. I think that they would be perfect for drag performances. I got this Barbie in the early 2000s and look at her shoes, I want them. Also, look at Christy's outfit. I so want this look. I could see Lazio for leasing pieces like this now. This Barbie has hair flipping powers, but it was left in the same position for so long that it kind of bent out of shape. I love this Polly Pocket Stacy, and I also want this outfit now and her backpack. It opens up to reveal a Polly Pocket playset. I'm not sure what this Barbie does because I changed her outfit and I don't know what she originally was wearing, but her legs and body snap and bend weirdly. If you have any ideas, let me know. So this doll grows. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of gross. I can feel her body parts getting longer. Her teeth are supposed to come down. Don't think they are yet. She's just going to be a toothless uh, adult. Uh, her head's moving. <laughs> Ew. I think, yeah, now she's, she's a, a grown-up, apparently. You can ungrow her. I hope you enjoyed my nostalgia tour. I have a whole other box my family sent me that I'm going to do a proper vlog on. In the meantime, if you like seeing cute toy videos, I highly recommend you check out Heather Sparkle's channel. She's very knowledgeable and has a great collection. Let me know if you had any of these as a kid or 
if you didn't know about any of these. And until next time, stay lovely.